Hello, peoples of the internet. Remember me? It is I, Senor El Epin Terencio. Ooh, it looks like I got a grill, son. Ah! Tomorrow's UFC 164. I've been working a lot driving a UPS truck around, and that takes lots of my time. Many children in the house, and, you know, dishes, laundry, dryer breaks, got fixed dryer, car repairs, summertime, acting a fool with my friends. You know, it it's time consuming. Skyrim, just got, I'm late, I know, but I just got, actually, one of the children's got a Skyrim, and in the night, while the people sleep, I play the Skyrim. So my life's been pretty occupado. Tomorrow's UFC 164, and this is special because if you look back in one of my videos, and actually it's only half uploaded, the other half I didn't upload, but it was about lightweight fishiness and wondering why Pettis never got the title shot. Well, the time has come. But first, uh, let's see, what do we have on the undercard? My man JV, Jamie Varner, is going to fight Glyson Tebow. This is an interesting fight because both these guys are gorilla monkey strong. And both of them cut from like 190. I think Glyson might even go up to 200. But I know JV goes up to like 185, 190. So two strong lightweights with uh, somewhat similar strengths, although Jamie Varner definitely has a wrestling advantage, and although T-Bow does, you know, he he's a striker, Varner's way more crisp with the striking and the level changes and mixing up the wrestling and boxing, almost like a hulking, slightly slower Frank Yedger type of style. You don't know what's coming. I think Jamie Varner's going to break his fucking face. I don't think it's going all three rounds. I doubt it. And if it does, it'll be like 30-27. I don't, I don't even give... I don't give to about a round. Because, yeah. JV got that. Who else? Luis Guidano versus... Guadano Guidano. Oh, the green guy. Green hair guy. Tiger Shulman's. Which is actually brother school to a school I used to go to. So, of course, I'm going to go with him. He's local guy. So, yeah, and you know, he he's going to go places. I don't know who the other guy is, his record ain't all that great. You know, every once in a while some no-name guy comes and shocks everyone and makes his way in, and that's you know how a lot of people become popular, but I don't see it happening. Big Ben Rothwell versus Brandon Vera. Brandon Vera's going to heavyweight. So I'm kind of tentative. I mean, Rothwell's experienced veteran. He knows his shit. Big, strong, dangerous motherfucker. But Brandon Vera is one of those 50-50 guys where he'll come in and shock the world and be like, oh my god, that was amazing. Sometimes he'll come in like a fucking sack of potatoes fucking covered in dog shit and you're like, what the fuck, this guy is, why is he even here? So I've seen pictures. He looks pretty gigantic at heavyweight. So maybe the weight cutting was fucking him up or slowing him down or something. I don't, I really don't know how to call that one. I'll, I'll call that a stumped. But I would, I would like it if Brandon Vera came in there and made some noise and just made an example of former, what was it, IFC champion. Big Ben Rothwell. Big Ben Rothwell. Oh. I think Clay Guida is going to beat up Chad Mendes. I'll stick to my story. I think that's how it's going to go down. And I think Dustin Poirier is going to beat up Poirier. Poirier. He's going to beat up uh, Eric Koch. Crotch. Coke. Coche. Koch. 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 And the main event. I think Dustin Poirier is going to win because I've seen a documentary on him and he came out to Johnny Cash cut you down and I thought that was like the most awesome workout music I've seen to date other than Roy Nelson's I'm Fat 
So yeah, I, that just made me a fan. And he is a good fighter, but you know, sometimes he just seems like his head's not in it. But I think he should be able to uh, tee off, maybe get a takedown on a sub or a TKO over Eric Koch. Koch, Koch, Koch. The main event. I'm just going to put it out there. I think Pettis is going to beat the sweet, ever-loving shit out of Ben Henderson. Not like the last time. It was kind of back and forth. But Pettis clearly had the advantage. And then he secured the win with a fucking fantastic flying kick off the gate straight out of a video game or like a fucking ninja movie. I think he's just going to work him. I think by the end of the first round... If not early to mid second round, Ben Henderson is going to have nothing in his system but maybe some leg kicks and shooting for takedowns. So, I mean, we don't know how Pettis is after the surgery. I might have jacked him up. But, you know, sometimes people come back way stronger from that sort of thing. So, I suspect that he's going to tear this guy a new asshole. With lots of fancy kicks. It's gonna come out strong and aggressive and uh, beat the shit out of. He better end the fight because apparently. Well, this one isn't on Fox because Bendo is like God Boy and on Fox he always gets a decision and praises Jesus and, you know, the stereotypical brown skinned athlete. Only through the Lord of Jesus. I mean, listen. I'm not trying to be blasphemous or anything. I'm just saying. Just saying. It's one thing to uh, have your own set of beliefs or whatever. That's cool. It's another thing to ride that God shit for like, you know, whatever. Anyway. Henderson doesn't have a wet matches chance in a fucking blizzard to knock him out. Not even by mistake. His only hope is to try to take him down. I fought it. Did you hear that? It's pretty gross. Oh, there's some more there. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of beef today. It was delicious. His only chance is to hold him down and cuddle it out. Maybe throw some ground and pound, pray for a submission. But Pettis' jiu-jitsu is pretty fucking damn good. So I don't think he's going to sink anything in. I think that Pettis is just going to put on a fucking beat-down clinic on this guy, and it's going to be like one for the ages. And, yeah, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. LF and Terencio, signing off.